Good morning from a frosty but sunny Pelsall Common. Yep, where we were about to be swan pooped. No. Oh no, slight deviation. Okay, good. <laughs> um, <laughs> you never know with those dive bombers. <laughs> yeah, Pelsall Wood, Pelsall Commons. Really nice. Apparently known as the Cracker locally due to a large iron chewing machine. Anyway, we're finishing the Whirly and Essington Canal today and then we're going up the Anglesey branch, then down the Darwin branch, and then we might get as far as the Russell top block. That's the plan. Yeah, bit of a push, quite a few hours. Uh, when we get up to Anglesey, there's a large, um, like, water park and everything. At the what, end like the slides and stuff? No, I don't think it's like the slides. I think it's like, um, you know, sailing on a lake and things uh, like that. I thought you meant like a swimming pool. No, because it's only two hours away, we probably want more up there. No, but we could stop for lunch. Like, maybe we should do that. Maybe. Let's see what we find. It is just past the, was it the M6 yeah. motorway, so it's... Might not be that nice. Yeah, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm a bit sad to be leaving here. Like, it's really nice, feeling a bit more rural, but I've got a feeling it's going to get very urban very quickly. Yeah. It's a beautiful area, though. Yeah. Like, you know, this just, just nice big field, birds in the trees. Nice change. All right, do you want to go on a poo hunt and I'll get us ready? Aha, poo hunt. So after a little less, no, more, around an hour's travel this morning, we've stopped here at the uh, Brown Hills Canoe and Outdoor Center, um, where there is some moorings right beside a Tesco and uh, some facilities. There's a shower, don't know if it's functioning, but there is one, a bathroom, etc. Um, El San, and two extremely full bins of recycling. So, just a quick stop. Um, we're gonna keep moving on, but not a bad little place, actually, if you're coming along this way. George isn't happy with it, but uh, that's because there's no ball.
Hey. One more. Oh, such a good dog. You got a filming? Yeah. What? What? And we're on the back of Walsall. We were a bit apprehensive about coming back down towards the uh, Walsall area. This is really nice. Yeah, we're well, roughly beside the Lime Pit Farm and the Lime Pits Conservancy, Conservancy which is uh, like a local nature reserve that was a lime pit. It was a lime quarry until a couple hundred years ago, I guess. And it's since been sort of backfilled in and turned into a enormous nature reserve, which I guess is a buffer between us and the rock-throwing children of Balsam. <laughs> We're also at Longford... Toplocks. But no, that sounds wrong. Rush thing. Rushall Toplocks. Rushall Toplock. And behind us is there's a little boat yard, Longford boat yard, I mm -hmm. guess. And uh, the sun's shining. It's 18 degrees, apparently. Yeah, apparently it's like the hottest... It's a record-breaking hottest day for a winter in English history. Since records began, probably. But, I mean, if it's like this in February, what's it going to be like in July? Snowing. <laughs> Tornadoes. You never know. Well, at least we've got cold, cold for that weather. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we stopped at um, Brown Hills facilities, although we didn't need to because there's facilities here, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a good excuse to go to the Tesco's. It's really hard to pass a, like a supermarket and like... Yeah, if it's all convenient to the canals, it's just like, let's just... We better stock up. Let's even just stock though up. We don't whether or not anything. we even need it, yeah. <laughs> and then up, up through the uh, junction there. Yeah, Cat's Hill Junction. Cat's Hill Junction, that's it. And then past, I think it's Ogley Junction, which is where the... Did you know that was where the Litchfield goes off? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, uh, you were you were going along, and I was like about to tell you, and you had your earphones in. And I was like, oh, I won't bother yeah, telling yeah. you. <laughs> They're actually restoring that section all the way up to I think it's the Birmingham and Faisley. You know, a lot of a lot of stuff's already happened on that. So that's a long stretch. So it's probably not going to happen within our boat life. There was a whole bunch of junk in that canal, but it wasn't. It was like large. It was interesting because. Um, I spoke to a guy when we were at the end and he lives in one of the houses that backs onto the canal. He was saying that the water's really clean because it comes straight up out of that um, lake or reservoir at the top. Mm -hmm. um, I went up there, it's really beautiful. He didn't manage to get off the boat. Because the canal is directly from that reservoir, it's really clean. Mm -hmm. Like they have water coming through all the time. So it's a, compared to like the Whirly and Essington, it's pretty clean. And then I kind of thought about it and there's like a sofa you know, amongst other things, floating. So it just must mean that the local people dump things in there. Yeah, because it was clean water. You could see all the way to the bottom, but it was a full sofa. <laughs> it's like cushions were still on it and everything. And yeah, so when we got to the end, it's, it's quite a nice, it's pretty rural. There was lots of like farmland up there, um, but kind of we were at the edge of suburbia because there was houses as well and yeah. some light industry. But yeah, and we I thought we'd stop there for lunch and then I pulled in reverse and lost reverse because sheet of plastic wrapped around the prop. There's nowhere to stop anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so there's like a massive basin, Anglesey Basin there. So really easy to turn around. <laughs> so Michael's turning around and he's getting closer and closer to the bank and I'm like, what's he doing? There's loads of room. <laughs> yeah. And you're giving me hand signals like back up. And I'm like, I would be if I could be. <laughs> so he just touched the side and um, I grabbed a rope and then you just floated around in the basin and got your hand in the in the basin to free the prop. Yeah. 
I walked up to the, the reservoir at the top and then you'd gone so far ahead I was like racing to get back down. I thought I'd get back on in the basin but there was nowhere to moor and um, so I ended up walking all the way back down the arm past the junction. And past the sofa. Past the sofa. So we turned onto the Dow End branch I think we yeah. were on. Dow End. Door, door End. And um, there's these places where the canal right, really narrows and I think it's where the, the old tolls were. Mm -hmm. um, but we just stopped in there because I don't know where the boat's moving and we couldn't bother to moor up so we stopped there and had lunch. <laughs> I got on the boat after that and rode with George and I groomed him for about an hour. So he's about half the dog he used to be. Mm. Um, it's a really nice section. Well, I don't know if it is or if it's just nice because of sunshine. It got a lot nicer once we passed the, um, well, there was a very large plastics manufacturing business and a huge metal recycling facility. Once we passed the last couple of bridges, it just suddenly went into the lime basin yeah. um, area where there's just all of this greenery and it just feels a bit more peaceful. And right now we've just got a view down a couple of locks. We're like at the top and it's just nice to have that view. It's hilarious when you look at it on the map. It's literally dead straight from here. There's two locks and then it's completely straight to the top of eight locks or six, seven six, locks. Yeah, okay. Um, and those are all really close together. So there's this just this very straight cut in this green corridor. And at the base of that set of locks is what the uh, Nicholson's Guide says is the sweet smell of a sewage plant. <laughs> and I think that's the Rushall Canal. So yeah. we'll leave the Dow End Canal. And we'll... I think we're actually past the Dow End. I think we're on the Rushall Canal. So today we've done the Worley and Essington, the Anglesey Branch. I'm sure there was another one. The Dow End and then the Rushall. <laughs> Quite a few. But it's all part of the Birmingham Canal navigation. Yeah, well they were all little independent ones that mm. connected up at various points. I've gotten too much sun today, which yeah, is a surprise crazy. for February. They started getting a little loopy. We passed this pub called the Boathouse and there's some people that were waving and everything. And this guy asked me, you know, where are you going? And I'm like, that way! <laughs> And he's like, looking at me like, what the hell's that? And then just after that, we tried some more because there was another pub which is really, like, got it's quite, very old. Got and quite a lot of history about it. It sounded kind of interesting, but then we tried to There's pull over. Mooring rings and everything. A big stretch of mooring rings. But it's all silted up, so we got stuck maybe six feet out. Yeah, at least. Yeah. And, and the boat starts, like, I'm sat at the front and you can see the boat start to tilt. Yeah, got us moving again, and then the first thing I'm looking at is just just an enormous amount of silt like we're definitely not going to be able to stop. When that happens you always kind of think oh am I going to find somewhere some more like when you're really ready to stop it's like oh there'll be places. Because I was ready to stop when we got off the angles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah along with junction this is. So if this is the junction I wonder if there was another canal that joined here. Yeah there must have been. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the bell if you're interested in notifications and um, comment. comment. <laughs> Down below. We need to get some more sun cream. Swan food. Swan food. George is playing. Of course he is. What else does he do? That's his basic utility. <laughs> like, a dog is a thing for turning kibble into poo. Last night Michael was fast asleep in bed, like fast asleep. And George jumped up onto the bed and basically landed poor first <laughs> in a place he shouldn't have landed. <laughs> and Michael had a very rude awakening. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm lying there asleep. I'm having some stupid dream about being 007 or something. And all of a sudden I've got two dog paws in my... <clears throat> and then he sort of leaps forward, which is fun enough. And his rear legs go straight in as well. So it's just like... <clears throat> I'm done. What the hell just happened? Anyway, we're moving I'll on. tell you, it was a fascinating interruption to the dream. <laughs> it's like, really, Miss Money Penny? <laughs> so, looking forward to not crashing into anything. I'm That's really... my role. You don't usually, well, sometimes you do crash into the Funny thing <gasps> De Beers says diamonds are forever, but you know what diamonds become over time? Graphite. Diamonds eventually become graphite. So, really, a pencil lead is forever. Okay. And that's what you should give your girl when you marry her. No, 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 the plot thing. Okay, tell me, tell me when you're ready. Yeah, let's go. Oh, oh, I dropped that one. <laughs> it's stuck to my finger. <laughs> that was a fail. Oh, try the finger. Oh, uh -huh. Hold on. Oh, hold it. 
Oh no. Oh, that that's one. just sad. <laughs> that one went in the canal. Okay, you can just have that one. All right, ready? Okay, good enough. All right, should we actually talk about the video? Yeah. Is it a problem that your head's cut off? It's always a problem that my head's cut off. I don't like having my head cut off. I mean, you know, plenty of people in this country seem to have no issue with it over history. But I am not a fan of decapitation. Of myself or others. Ooh, now I'm going. Did you see we passed Black Cock Bridge? I was going to say that to you. I, I, wanted I, to get a, I, I wanted to get a shot of that and I was just like... I think I'm just going to put it subtly in the edit and see if anyone comments. Yeah. There might have been some Romans writing it down earlier, being like, I, you know, you, I don't know, how do you speak Roman? Anyway, Romulus and Remus were happy about the fact that the temperature rose to a you know, 18 quadrilines or whatever the heck you call it in Latin. But anyway. When I went to Tesco's earlier, I bought some frozen corn nuggets and we don't have a freezer, so we had to eat them straight away. And it's just a bit of comfort food. And I made a really nice lemon and garlic dip to have with them. So I passed... We finished. We should explain to anybody listening, we're not talking corn as in like corn on the cob. The corn is a brand of vegetarian vegetarian meat sort of replacement. So these they are just like, look like chicken like ch nuggets. They're fake chicken, vegetarian chicken yeah, nuggets. Basically. But I'm like, we're not putting lemon and mayonnaise on sweet corn. <laughs> anyway, we're just about finished and I had one left. So I handed it out to Michael out of the duck hatch. He takes it and then literally throws it at me. <laughs> I have mayonnaise like all over my scarf, all over my face, down my top. So what, what actually happened was I just, I tried to hold it and I squeezed it too much and the, the like breading came off and it just slipped through my fingers. So then it falls down and it, and it hits the edge of the, um, the duck hatch window. <laughs> and as I watch it fall, I'm like, oh, oh, I hope this goes into the canal, not into the thoing smoosh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You didn't say sorry, you were laughing. Well, yeah, because it, it hit in spin, and there's just mayonnaise in, in a streak <laughs> over my puppy. Ah. Fish. I wasn't impressed. Okay. So. I'm getting heat stroke. At 4 p.m. on a on a February afternoon, like you do. It doesn't make any sense. It's not heat stroke, sorry, sunstroke. That's how hot I am. That is, I mean. I think we should um, watch Big brother no yeah, yeah, the one breaking bad. I knew it was too big. why didn't Walt make marzipan like I know he couldn't make as much money but his whole life would have turned out so much okay Mr. Sunstroke wrapped the video up uh, I'm drawing a blank here huh I'm drawing a blank here thanks for watching thanks for watching if you like it if you like it Thanks for watching. If you like it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. Wait, if you like what? Oh, the video. Okay. Subscribe.